dear Fiona, I'm having another tough ski week here at CMH. Wish you were here. Love, Kevin. It happens every year, Renee. The snow starts to fly. Kevin takes off with his friends on a heli-ski holiday, and all I get out of the deal is a postcard. You should go. My loving husband tries to tell me I wouldn't want to go because life at a CMH Lodge can be pretty hard. Yeah, yeah with limitations. <laughs> Poor boy. I bet it's rough. Yeah, right. I can just imagine that terrible snow. He's insisted that the skiing wasn't all that great and that it wasn't that much fun and that I was lucky to stay at home with the kids. But this year, I'm going. I've changed my work schedule and I've got the kids with their grandparents. After all these years of being left behind, it's time for me to see what a heli ski week is all about. I'll send you a postcard. Ten years I've endured tales of CMH and I finally get to experience it myself. Sounds like I'm not the only one. Whoops. 
Dear Renee, it's just as I suspected, though I have to give Kevin full marks for creativity. Take his description of the lodge. His overcrowded little backcountry hut turned out to be just a little different from that. And as for never having time to make any friends, well, was, and this was truly you guys. Look at that. Outrageous it's day. Unreal. One of the best ever. Wow. That looks like Peter Arvik. This is why you come to CMH. Oh, for days just like today. Amazing. It really is. What a great guy, eh? Trying to protect me from all this. And of course, that first day was nothing compared to what was coming. <laughs> Kevin said the food was no big deal, but it was so delicious. I had to slow down at mealtimes or I'd never be able to ski. We had unbelievable gourmet meals served family style in the lodge. Fantastic breakfast that got you ready for the day, and then hearty meals right there on the slopes. And you know, just getting up to these lunch spots is a thrill in itself. Our helicopter is 10 times faster than the fastest chairlift and gives access to an area 200 times the size of the biggest ski resort. I realize that heli skiing has its risks, but our lodge manager proudly told me that all CMH guides are certified either by the Association of Canadian Mountain Guides or the International Federation of Mountain Guides and have had many years of training to achieve their professional status. Every morning while Kevin and I are still fast asleep, the guides have a meeting to determine what the snow conditions are like and then they get in touch with all the other CMH lodges to get an update on their weather and snow, creating a fantastic safety and snow database. They also send out a dedicated snow safety guide to investigate the snowpack. In the sun there. Oh yeah, I can see this one. And if there's a need, they fly out and bomb the slopes to safeguard the landing and pickup sites or to gather more information for their snow science studies. On overcast days, when clouds and falling snow decreases visibility, we stick to tree skiing. This is when we had some of our best powder.
fantastic. Very, very fantastic. Wow. Wow. Oh, jump! I came here to ride the slopes, but the social scene is something else. One is Geppetto, <laughs> the father of Pinocchio. You know Pinocchio with the long nose? At this lodge, Thursday night is dress-up night. And even the kitchen staff are in on the scene. As you know, I've only skied at ski resorts before, so I was concerned about the pace of skiing here. But after the first day, everyone finds their way into a group of equal abilities. In fact, I'm thinking about bringing some friends who have never been heli skiing to a CMH intro week next year. In a perfect world, we'd have fantastic snow conditions every day. But in the mountains, things don't always work out that way. Our guide tells us that each ski week has only about half a day when they can't fly. But even then we had a great time. In just one afternoon, we went cross-country skiing, indoor climbing, and sport shopping. And then look at this one for Jack. Life is good. When the visibility improved, we headed back to the glaciers. Boy, I thought Kevin had come here a lot of times, but more than 3,000 CMH guests have logged a million vertical feet or more. One of them, who is only 24 years old, earned her blue million-foot suit this week. I'm Jenny from San Francisco, California, 24 years old. I've been coming with my dad for about the last 11 years. I'm supposed to get my million foot suit today in about one run, and I've just had the best time at CMH. I always thought about it as heaven on earth. Just you have great skiing, great food, great people. Really good time. Yeah, it's been nice skiing those uh, million with you. <laughs> you too, Dad. <laughs> I'm 
My parents took me skiing when I was about two and a half, and I was a really cute kid. <laughs> Here's the skiing and skiing powder. Coming up here and skiing with all you guys has really made it worthwhile. <laughs> Old friends, new friends, got a great daughter. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Our last day was by far the best. We had every type of skiing you could ask for. Renee, my week heli skiing was the best ski experience of my life. How about next year, you and I and some girlfriends get together and go to CMH? Ernst, well, you know, it, it's a tough one. He really took us on this run this morning. I can't figure out what we did with him yesterday to actually get him to take us on that dog <laughs> stuff. <laughs> but he kind of made up for it this afternoon or the later morning because it was gorgeous it snow. It was a wonderful It run. was good snow. <laughs> it was a fantastic run. Yeah, you like that The only that deep problem crust. was the snow was a little crusty. <laughs> I just have a bunch of candy asses in my group, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, besides that, there is actually no bad snow. No There's bad only snow. bad skiers. <laughs> Whoever said the best things in life are free, never has been heli skiing. <laughs>